Welcome back to the Rabbit Transit Garage. I got some parts to check out. The next order of business is going to be suspension. It's possible this thing is pretty loose. The other side is not moving. Mostly we'll because. Let's see it. Try to switch hands here. I got arm slightly screwed. So yeah, that is all play. The other tire is not moving anywhere. That's no bueno. So a quick little unboxing here. Jason's got some fun parts for the satellite. Got them from Anderson Restorations. I got parts. You gotta show the triangular box too. Oh yeah. I got a surprise for my wife. Hey, I got the Tonka truck back there. This is the same place I got the Anderson Restoration, same place I got the parts, front end parts or steering parts for the uh, Barracuda. Got them fast, they were actually inexpensive and decent quality, so. That there. We have adjusting sleeves. Yeah. Rod ends. I'll move that for a couple of stuff open. How much did you pay for the kit? Two hundred bucks. I'll look at the I'll get the actual number. We'll put it in the thing. We have upper control and bushings. We have lower control and bushings. We have upper control and stops and lower gel bumpers. Ooh, we have a sway bar bush or links. Car doesn't have a sway bar, but now it should. <laughs> this is the standard kit, right? Uh, this is, yes. Uh, idle arm. I actually went with this kit because I was on the website for uh, Moog, I think it was, and they were eight weeks out. And they This place had them. Got upper ball joints. Greasable? Greasing, screwable. Screwable. <laughs> Greasable and screw in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Another upper ball joint. Why does that look different? That's the one got the thing in already. Well, that was nice of them to put the zerk in right away. Or ball joints. Two. And more boots. Should be do well, I cannot show you the price. Let's say in here. But anyways, it does have the uh, what's in the kit. Very cool. So, and we're triangle box. Oh, uh, you put it away already. Everybody's in that thing. <laughs> it's in my closet. <laughs> my wife gave me a surprise because the car needs to be rewired. Got me the entire wiring diagram for a '66 satellite and Belvedere. Nice. It looks confusing, but it's really not that bad. 
So very cool. Yeah, it'll be handy when I'm trying to chase because right now the car has a zero wiring unit whatsoever in the engine compartment at least. So cool. cool. All right. Because every Saturday we are we are stuck. I thought we had a uh, upper ball joint socket, but we don't. And I was hoping that we could do a trick with the torsion bar removal, but we didn't. <laughs> we just failed in our call account, so. He did some mudding here on the inner fender. I couldn't handle it, though. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Did some mud in there. It's got to get sanded. -ed. Sanded? -ed? Sanded. -ed. And. Has the front end mostly apart. Yeah, this is pretty bad. On the passenger side, anywho. Oh, yeah, this idle arm is toast. So, tomorrow he's going to be putting on the, or taking apart the driver's side. The rest of the driver's side, if we can find, rent a. Uh, Upper control, uh, upper ball joint socket. Then I'll get that out. I want to do it on the car. It'll be a lot easier than you know using the car as leverage to uh, get it out of there. Then I get the upper control arm off. Jay's gonna take it to work and sandblast it. It'll look pretty. Um, I want to box the lower control arms. I'd like to make my own. Problem is, I'd have to take a day off of work because all of the steel places around us are uh, closed on weekends. So they're like fifty bucks, I think, forty bucks from U.S. Car Tool. I might just have to bite the bullet and order them. But if they're going to be like two months to get here, then I'm not going to bother. This car has to go down the track. Ah, <sighs> what else? Brake line or hoses are toast. I kind of figured they were, but they're they're really, really, really done. To be expected. Hmm? To be expected. Yeah. Rotors are junk. I mean, it basically needs, it needs everything replaced, which, I mean, I got it out of a barn. None of it's surprising. And honestly, I mean, where this car had rust, it was obviously rusty, but overall, the car is not bad. I mean, everything came off this thing without. Man. <laughs> Everything came off pretty easily. I swore at it a lot, it always helps. So tomorrow, I can get the upper ball joint tool, get the upper ball joints out, I gotta get the driver's side apart. What else am I doing tomorrow? I don't know. Probably not even that much. I always have these big plans. And yeah. Then, then I'm all sad by the end of the weekend. Big plans. September 30th and October 1st. No, that's not a plan. That's going to happen. Plans get broken. <laughs> this, that's just... I'm going to breathe, I'm going to eat, I'm going to shit, and I'm going to no name ads. <laughs> Those are all guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freaking know. Ugh. I think we've been sniffing too many fumes. <laughs> My eyes are still burning from barracuda. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal garage, by the way. <laughs> this is what you don't normally see. <laughs> this is what it is. Uh, all right. Tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. See you tomorrow.